Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I was just going through the comments on the Art of the Image channel, and Peter Cruz writes in and wants to know, how do you record your audio and video? It's a good question because I have changed things up quite a bit over the years since I started doing this channel. Um, and currently, I am using the Panasonic LX100 for video, most of the time recording in the 4K mode, so the highest bit rate level in 4K. And then what I'll do is I'll render that down after editing to the 1080 file. It makes for a really nice, clean, heavily, very detailed uh, 1080 file, but much nicer than if you were just shooting 1080. Um, so that's what I'm doing for video, the Panasonic LX100. Uh, I'll put a link below if you want to check that out. Um, and for audio, um, when I'm sitting like in this situation, this is a uh, Audio Acoustica, I think it's called. Uh, Audio Technica, sorry, AT2020. Um, this is a cardioid, cardioid condenser studio microphone. I had to glance over to make sure I'm telling you the correct thing. Um, and this is one of the best um, values in the sense that you can get this for under 100 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's an XLR mic, but I think you can get it as a USB or XLR mic. Mine's an XLR, and I run it into my Zoom H4. Let me see if I can show you that. I don't know if I have enough cord here. There we go. So the Zoom H4. So the mic is through into the XLR input. That's one of the nice things about the Zoom H4. It's got an XLR input. Um, put that back down. So um, AT2020 into the Zoom H4. Uh, and then I take that and I sync it in post. Um, and for software, I'm using, um, I have an Adobe Creative Cloud membership um, and I'm using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. So I really like that. And um, as you could see, I'm back to using some green screen effects, which the Ultra Key really works well in Adobe Premiere Pro. So that's how I'm doing my audio and video. Sometimes I'll take a lav mic. I've got uh, some of the Sony wireless UWPs. Uh, and I also have a couple just plain cheaper uh, wired lav mics that I will put into a Zoom H2. Uh, let me see here. There's the Zoom H2, my older Zoom H2. And here's uh, this uh, um, lav mic, just a clip lav mic. Now, actually, I'm getting uh, the little one that goes around your ear and comes out by your mouth. I want to see how that works because sometimes with a lav mic, you turn your head and you notice the difference. No different than this really because if you move away your voice isn't as loud as if you're up close um, but this has really nice sound uh, it's because it's got big pickups in it uh, so anyways that's how I'm doing my audio and video if you have any further questions feel free to leave them below hopefully I answered your question there and um, stay tuned we'll be back with uh, some more videos some more articles keep up to date with what's going on in the world of photography videography and technology right here at artoftheimage.com thanks a lot folks